Hi, this is Ingrid Blackburn with The Creative Grove. Thanks for joining me today. Here we have a case this sketch challenge that I participated in and I wanted to share my project with you. I did a very simple one layer card. Here you see I'm folding a four and a quarter by 11 inch piece of paper. And this is gonna serve as our base and card. So now that we have that nice and flat, I've taken a mask that I've created out of copy paper. I just tore a very simple uh, edge and I made sure to tear it on a rounded edge on the inside so that it had a nice little flow for my corner that I'm going to mask. I'm going to place this down using some dotto adhesive and then once I have the dotto on there I'm going to run my fingers over it just to take a little bit of the tackiness away and that's going to help prevent it from really pulling up on my paper when I lift it. So I want to have pretty much the same edge right as bottom so that we have some sort of uniformity there. And now I'm going to take the goose from the wetland stamp set. I'm going to use the reeds, the goose, and the thinking of you. And I'm going to color this using some Stampin' Right markers. Use any markers that you want. Marvy's got some great markers out there. Um, I'm using a dark brown, which is this, and I'm just going to color in just the goose and the legs. And then the reeds, I'm going to color in using an olive marker. And I have the matching stamp sets for the rest of the card as well. Now that we have that inked up, I'm going to huff it quickly just to re-moisten that ink. And I'm going to stamp it over the bottom into the right hand corner. I want to leave a little bit of space over on the right side because I'm going to now bring in a cloudy blue color that I'm going to sponge and later on I'm going to put some reeds over that. So here you see another mask that I created out of copy paper. It's important when you create your masks to use copy paper and not cardstock. Cardstock's a little too thick and you will end up getting that very frustrating white edge. So here I'm just going to cover this up or mask it if you will. And that is going to help protect my image while I sponge over it. I added a little bit of dotto to the beak, to the tails. You can see I had some that stuck under there. And the legs, as well as just a little bit to the body. I did the same thing with my fingers just to get rid of some of the tackiness. I didn't want it to pull up my stamped image. And now I'm going to bring in a sponge and some Adirondack Light Cloudy Blue dye ink. I'm blotting it off on my scrap paper first and then gently going in a circular motion. And you can see here that I'm not really being so deliberate as to put it just in a particular place. I'm kind of going all over the place. I want to make sure to cover my entire image and go well beyond it as I am going to add a few reeds to the left and to the right of my goose. I want it to blend seamlessly into the rest of my card. You can see I had a little bit of trouble there with the mask, so I picked it back up and I ended up putting up on a little bit more dotto there. I always use painter's tape too. I wanted to have a torn edge versus a straight edge. And I'm making sure to go along my edge and that's going to help give me that definition, that color break in between the white from the base and the sponging that I'm doing here. It's hard sometimes when you're using such a light color because it's tough to see and you might need to lift your mask up just to make sure that you have it exactly the color that you want it to use. You can also use the two-way glue as well. Just make sure you let it dry so that it acts like a post-it. Here I'm adding the reeds and I've got to remove my mask first because I want it to stamp over my goose. So 
So I'm going to add that to the left and the right. Now we're going to remove our mask and get rid of some of that dotto. You can use your fingers. Right here I'm going to use an adhesive remover. This is one of the best tools you have. They're usually somewhere around two dollars. A great, great little tool. It lasts forever. If it gets ever gunky on the sides, you just snip that part off with your scissors. You can see it's got a nice, simple little scene in the corner blending perfectly into the rest of the card. I'm going to add the sentiment. It's just a nice quick little card that will brighten anybody's day. Just takes a few minutes. Now I'm going to use an aqua painter here, making sure that I don't have a lot of water on there. Sorry, my camera got a little out of focus there. And I'm just bringing some of the dye-based ink. I didn't actually add any color to my aqua painter. I'm kind of muddling the colors up on their own just to give the, the goose a little bit of character and that he's not so stark white. They're usually gray in color and I chose to make him brown. And there you go. There's your final card. That was quick, right? Anybody can do this. Now I do have a couple other samples here. I'm going to show you some that I rounded the top corners and then here's one where I rounded the bottom corners. You can pick and choose whichever look works for you. Hope you enjoyed that project. Thanks a lot for joining me today. Hope you had fun today. Thanks so much for watching. If you'd like to subscribe to my YouTube channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you want to take some classes, hit the online classes to visit our blog and join me at one of the social networking sites listed above too. See you next time. Bye-bye.